current Harper government is taking steps that lead us to believe that there's a transformation underway in the government policy regarding the death penalty, and this should concern every Canadian. Stephen Harper has changed direction. You know, Canada has now not only abandoned one of its citizens on death row in the United States, but we now have abandoned our co-sponsorship of a resolution of the United Nations against the death penalty. And now, with no consultation, with seemingly no thought other than apparently a support and a belief in the death penalty, the government changes its mind on a whim. To me, it does nothing more than demonstrate an extraordinary indifference to life on the part of those who have made this decision, the Prime Minister, the Justice Minister, and presumably the Cabinet as a whole. But what I find even more frightening is their failure to consult to have the rest of our society contribute to that debate. There seem to be certain conservatives of the non-progressive kind that are quietly moving back to a position in favor of capital punishment. Many people asked whether there was indeed a, a hidden agenda of this conservative government. I am concerned that there is a hidden agenda with respect to capital punishment. And for the, uh, the Harper government, or for Canada as a nation to even be considering uh, looking south and, and to the right for inspiration in, in our justice affairs is, is very scary. Canada normally would be an outspoken voice as one of the countries that has abandoned uh, this practice. He's taking Canada out of the leadership of this issue and he's moving Canada in the wrong direction. And I urge all Canadians to be aware of this issue. And to stand back and say he's going to do nothing because uh, in his buddy George Bush's country, uh, it's okay. Uh, One of the serious questions we have to ask is, is, is it merging our views uh, in Canada on the death penalty to those of the United States? Uh, and frankly, it's very un-Canadian. That's not uh, the Canadian way uh, of doing things. Uh, we have a different way of doing things in, in this country. We do believe that it's cruel punishment. We do believe that it's, it's not acceptable under our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And we do think that the Canadian government should be expressing that view very strongly on behalf of any Canadian citizen with respect to the crimes that uh, he or she may have committed. I'm very concerned that the current Conservative government seems to be walking backwards from this principle. And it's up to Mr. Harper and his friends in the Conservative Party, should I call it the Reform Party. Speak up to say why uh, the death penalty should continue to be banned in a country like Canada that values human rights, uh, values freedom, and is a, a beacon for newcomers from around the world to come here because of those values. A lot of people around the world are saying, what, what happened to Canada? So it's really incomprehensible what Stephen Harper is doing. They are not seeking, at a minimum, clemency, at best, repatriation of a Canadian. So now to be standing back and uh, helping to decide whether it'll be a noose or a needle that puts uh, Canadians to death is not the Canadian way. It's a very slippery slope once you start down. Uh, saying that you're not going to stand up for the rights of Canadians uh, convicted on capital cases in other countries. It isn't much of a leap to go from there to saying, let's start killing our own citizens within our country. As uh, he'll become the executioner uh, by not participating and not uh, protecting Canadian citizens. This is the first step, I believe, in towards making capital punishment once again acceptable in Canada and it must never be acceptable in Canada. It's yet another example of a hidden agenda, but more importantly, that means so little of Canadian life, not just here in Canada, but abroad. That's a tragedy, and we must stand up and stop Mr. Harper from trying to do his, uh, his, implement his agenda through the back door. Reaffirm Canada's position on the international stage and domestically opposed to the death penalty. There are a lot of people I've known, I've met, I've come to know well, that I've helped and worked for who would not be with us today if we'd had a death penalty in Canada. David Milgaard. Uh, Dahl Marshall Guy Paul Moran. Uh, and myself, uh, David Milgaard, Stephen Truscott, uh, you know, the, the list goes on and on. There's 30 people in this country alone in recent years who have been exonerated from uh, murder convictions who would all be dead if we had a death penalty because the justice system is human. Greg Parsons, wrongly convicted of the murder of his mother in Newfoundland. 
in the 1990s. He would surely not be with us today if we'd still had a death penalty. People who were completely exonerated, who were convicted by the system of murder, uh, and would have been subject to the death penalty had it existed. Bill Mullins Johnson, convicted of a first degree murder, a horrible murder of his four year old niece, but it was a crime that never happened. Can you imagine if he had been executed for a crime that never happened? And death penalties can be applied to people uh, who are innocent. People who have been, who's done jail time, who've been, who would have been on death row uh, in Canada and who have turned out to have been innocent and have been released. I think we know the big stories. I can't imagine as a lawyer, as an elected official, as a parent, as a Canadian, anything more uh, terrifying for our country than an innocent person being put to death. We think it's unjust, we think it's wrong, we think it's irrevocable, we think it's the kind of punishment where you make irrevocable, unforgivable mistakes. And on that ground, we think uh, Canada's got to lead the campaign to stop it. We have an obligation as members of humanity to be involved in stopping this awful, inhumane thing that happens still in so many countries around the world. We have always prided ourselves uh, in showing a, a humane face uh, to the rest of the world. There are reasons why Canada does not believe in capital punishment and they take the same traditional role that previous leaders, conservative and liberal, have in the past and that capital punishment uh, does not bring back the person who was killed and it basically denigrates the state to the level of those who have committed these heinous crimes. And now this, the death penalty. The government's recent decision to stop advocating for clemency for a Canadian citizen sentenced to death abroad, I find exceptionally troubling. This seems to be a reform uh, policy about the death penalty. And I remember during the Justice Stanley Folder case, a uh, Jasper Alberta man that was executed in the state of Texas, that actually a reform party member flew to Texas to encourage George W. Bush to in fact execute a Canadian citizen. And of course they did execute him. Um, if, if Mr. Harper and his party get a majority government, um, we might just see the reopening of this and I'll be there on my father's behalf to fight against it. Mr. Harper ever has the idea that he can reintroduce the death penalty in Canada, we want him to know that every single one of us, no matter what issue we're involved in, will stand up and fight against that happening.